Hey friends, welcome back to another topic. So in this topic, we are going to discuss about chronic myelogenous leukemia. Before moving to our topic, uh, I would like to say something about leukemia. So leukemia, as we already know that uh, it's a type of cancer, it's a blood cancer or the cancer that occurring for the blood forming tissues. So there are different kinds of leukemias are present and uh, for each leukemia, the treatment is distant. While talking about CML, uh, it's one of the first cancer to be linked with the genetical abnormalities. CML or the chronic myeloid leukemia can be also called as chronic myelogenous leukemia. CML can be said as the best example for reciprocal translocation. And uh, we know that uh, the reciprocal translocated chromosome is known as the Philadelphia chromosome was named so. It is because it was in the year that 1960. Peter Novell and David Hungerberg uh, discovered Philadelphia chromosome in the city of Philadelphia uh, from Cancer Fox Research Institute. So it was named so as Philadelphia chromosome. And so as we already told earlier, CML is the best example for reciprocal translocation. We know that uh, that's a kind of translocation between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22. And ABL gene that are present in chromosome 9 and uh, BCR gene is present in chromosome 22. ABL means able name for Rebelson and BCR means break cluster region. So, in CML, there happened a reciprocal translocation between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22. So, the ABL gene that are present in chromosome 9 has been translocated into the BCR region of chromosome 22 and this may result in the production of hybrid ABL-BCR hybrid has been formed. And so, this ABL-BCR hybrid may result in the production of protein that possessing a molecular weight of P210 or P180. Okay. And ABL gene or ABL name for Abelson gene that contains a domain or that's having a domain and that may add phosphate group to the tyrosine residues possessing a domain and that add phosphate group to the tyrosine residues. So the hybrid ABL BCR itself the gene product is tyrosine kinase. And so let's look what are the characteristics features of this hybrid ABL BCR. So first thing is this ABL BCR hybrid may react with or may bind with interleukin 3 beta C. And this particular hybrid is continuously active. Okay. And they are continuously active or they are always in a switch on position. And for their activation that does not require, require any kind of cellular messaging protein which means even in the absence of cellular messaging proteins or even in the absence of any kind of factors that the CML is continuously active or continuously in an on position. And second point is that this particular hybrid may inhibit the DNA repair mechanisms. Okay, this particular hybrid that is abl bcr hybrid may inhibit the DNA repair mechanisms. And the third point is that this hybrid abl bcr hybrid have the capacity for the activation of cascades of protein or this hybrid may activate a series of protein and this may evenly result in the cell division so the cells has been divided enormously and that that may develop into the formation of cancer okay so in case of cml or in cml patients this particular hybrid that is abl bcr hybrid is one of the special characteristic features that can be seen in the people who is suffering from cml conditions so that's a very brief introduction about CML. Then let's discuss about uh, what are the symptoms of CML, okay? People who are suffering from CML or the people uh, who are, are more susceptible for the CML conditions does not exhibit any kind of symptoms in the initial stage, okay? In initial stage, there does not show any kind of symptoms, but the symptoms has been only appeared uh, at the time of final stages. Hmm? Only at the time of final stages that uh, they exhibit uh, certain kinds of symptoms. So the most common symptoms include bleeding easily and they always feel a fatigue or a tired or a, an illness state and uh, they always exhibit a weight loss condition and they always they always feel a difficulty to do exercises and uh, they always feel a weight loss or tiredness fatigue malaysia condition and so on okay the most common condition that we can say that the cml can be easily diagnosed by blood test okay blood test mainly include complete blood count test okay cbc test means complete blood count test so through the cbc test or complete blood count test it is possible uh, to identify whether a person is suffering from cml or not okay and the cbc test or complete blood count test is done by many of the people as a part of their regular medical checkups and so if a person is suffering from CML, they always exhibit or they always shows an increased number of WBC count in their blood. 
we know that our common range or the normal range of WBC is 4,000 to 11,000 per microliter. But in the persons who is suffering from this kind of CML conditions or chronic marital leukemia or certain kind of other conditions, here you can see an enormous number of WBC counts. That is, a person who is suffering from CML that usually possess 1 lakh to 4,000 lakh WBC counts per microliter. Okay, so uh, in case of CML or in chronic myeloid leukemia can be characterized by an increased or an unregulated or uncontrolled growth in the number of WBC cells. Okay, and that's our diagnosis. Then uh, while talking about the treatments, uh, the CML uh, treatments means there are different kinds of treatments are available for correcting the CML, either for reducing the symptoms that are shown by the CML or for the complete curage of the CML. So uh, here the CML or chronic mental leukemia can be complete curage is possible if the particular conditions has been diagnosed earlier okay if the CML has been diagnosed in very early stage then it is possible for the complete curage of the condition CML. Yes, there are lots of drugs are present, but here we discuss at least five of them. The first one is imatinib. So I-M-A-T-A-N-I-B, imatinib. So imatinib is one of the most prominent drug that has been prescribed by the doctor to the patients who is suffering from CML. So imatinib, uh, it can be said that it's a kind of tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Okay, it's a it's function as a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. So it may effectively control the symptoms that is caused by the CML or it may uh, complete it helps for the complete correcting of the CML conditions if the CML conditions has been diagnosed in very earlier in the stage. And the second one is nilotinib, N I L O T I N I B, that is nilotinib. Whenever a particular person does not respond to the imatinib drug, then the nilotinib is usually prescribed by the doctor. And the third one is desartinib, so it's prescribed by the doctors in the condition. Uh, like even if these two drugs, the nilotinib and imatinib, is never gonna be function, then uh, like. Mm, Dasatinib has been prescribed. Okay, the person who is uh, who is consuming these kinds of drugs may result in yeah they having a negative impact and that these drugs may result in a negative impact on a person. That means they are having a chance for the development of ocular toxicity. So what do you mean by this ocular toxicity? Ocular toxicity can be said it's a condition just like uh, loss of vision and epiphora condition. Epiphora condition means uncontrollable like flowage of tears into your face. Okay, that is epiphora condition. And the fifth one is conjunctival hemorrhages. So, conjunctival hemorrhages means what? Conjunctival hemorrhages means it's a condition by which uh, you can see uh, red patches over the white portion of your eye. Okay, red patches can be seen over the white portion or white part of your eye. That is conjunctival hemorrhages. And so, these are mainly described as ocular toxicities. Okay. The next come is combination therapy. So, from the very beginning itself, from that term itself suggests a very meaningful terms, right? So, that gives a very brief introduction about what it's mean. It's a combination therapy. So, combination therapy, from the term itself, it is possible to identify that there comes a combination of something, right? Yes. So, here in combination therapy, here we use combination of the drugs. That is, in certain condition, uh, the drugs, or the normal dosage of the drugs is that does not create any kind of positive effect on a particular patient who is suffering from CML. In that cases, the combination therapy has been done. So combination therapy means it's a combination of the drugs, which means here high dosage of nilotinib and the high dosage of ponatinib or high dosage of uh, like imatinib or high dosage of nilotinib is usually administrated to the patient who is suffering from CML condition. So that's the thing that we need to say in combinational therapy. Then the next therapy is chemotherapy. So as we already know that chemotherapy is very familiar to us. So chemotherapy means it's a condition that is usually prescribed by the doctor if the, these two therapies that is at combination therapy or the other drugs, simply drugs is never create any kind of positive effect on a particular patient, then the doctors may prescribe for uh, like chemotherapy. And so chemotherapy is a condition by which using of chemicals, okay, using of chemicals for curing or treating CML. So by using chemicals, it is possible to de complete destructions of the cancerous tissues or cancerous cells and all. So that is what we call as chemotherapy. And so that's it. And next comes the fourth one is, or fourth therapy is bone marrow transplantation. That we know that it is one of the most intensive method that has been used for the correcting or the treatment of the CML. And this particular therapy is not done for all persons. It is because this particular therapy or this particular treatment is done on specific person by looking by or by checking on their health conditions. So it's a condition by which uh, the patient or the stem cells of bone marrow cells from the patient has been removed and which was replaced by the bone marrow stem cells of the healthy patient. And then it may start production or production of the regulated and the controlled 
number of WBCs. So that's all about our topic CML. Thanks for your watching and please subscribe on my channel and never forget to smash the like button. So see you soon and have a nice day guys.